In this tutorial, we will add audio and sound effects to our cutscene. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Balfiki. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, welcome to this channel where I create game development tutorials. And from time to time, I upload my short films. So if you're interested, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Today is gonna be the third tutorial in the timeline series. In the first two, we get started with the timeline and how to create an activation track and then the animation track. Today, it's gonna be about the audio track. Audio is a key element when it comes to storytelling, especially in games and films. And before we start, you can follow or ask me on any of these social media platforms. I'd love to answer your questions. And you can join our Discord server for community discussions. Links available in the description below. So in this short tutorial, we will just have a very quick look at how to use and implement the audio track. Here we have one of the sample scenes I used previously in the activation track tutorial. So we're going to add audio to it. At the moment, there's nothing much. Just the soldier is running with explosions um, surrounding him. So let's add some audio to that. To create any track, as always, we select our timeline and then right click and then choose the track you want, which is audio track in this case. And then we can drag any audio into that track. Or even a faster approach, which is just dragging the audio into the timeline and it will create a new track for us. You will notice that it says none for the audio source. However, if you play the timeline, we will hear the sounds even though there is no audio source. Well, for audio tracks, the audio source is not that important, but it's really good to have, uh, especially for two cases. One, if you want to have a 3D sound. So let's say you want the sound to emit from one of the explosions to sound like 3D sounds. And the second reason is to add effects to that sound like reverb or low pass effect. So before we do that, first thing I want to do is decrease the volume of the ambient sound. So I'm just going to select the track and then decrease the volume to almost half. So now if I play, it starts with the explosion. I just want to cut that out till here and we just go here and then S to split. I'm just going to delete the other half and just stretch it till the end. All right, now we want to add the explosion sound effects. So we have two explosion sounds here. And let's start adding the sound effects into the timeline. As you can see, each of these activation tracks represents the start of one of the explosions. So I just want to match each explosion sound effects with one of these activation tracks. So I'm just going to drag them randomly, explosion one, two, two, one. And I'm just going to trim them so they end with the whole animation. So if I hit play now, look at what we have. So that's basically using the audio track, but without the audio source. If we would like to use an audio source, let's create an empty game object. And let's just call it um, source. And drag it into one of them. It will ask us to create an audio source. So yeah, create an audio source. And we will see that there is an audio source component added. We're not going to explore the audio source uh, component a lot. It's going to be in an individual tutorial along with the audio mixer. For now, we're not going to play a lot with that. Maybe just with the um, pitch here. Let's just give it like 1.1 just to have a slightly higher pitch to some of the explosions. And then we can add a low pass effect. And that filter is a very useful and cool filter, especially if you want to show that the character is stunned or um, under the water. Now you will hear what I mean. So let's just drag it here so we can hear the difference. 
this is with this is without so let's just lower the cutoff frequency now you can hear the difference so let's just put it back and add the source to some of them so now let's hit play and see what we have That's pretty much it. I hope you like it and hopefully in the future we will have a whole dedicated tutorial just for audio source, their filters and the audio mixer. Uh, for now we will just continue on with the timeline tutorials. So if you like it, let me know. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more of these tutorials, subscribe and remember turning on the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. That's the end. This is Omar Balfiki. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.